Comparing data between groups is an important part of data visualization. The main way that you can do comparisons in data visualization is by using bar charts. In this video, I'm going to show you two alternatives to this side-by-side -side bar chart. Let's start by taking a look at the standard side-by-side -side bar chart. Now, as you can see here, this is probably what you've seen when you have seen a year-over-year -year comparison. This chart has some specific problems that we're going to try to fix with our other two charts, so let's outline them. The first problem is it's hard to see the trend overall in the year. So if we look at our current year, which is these blue bars, they're separated by the gray bars, and it just makes the picture very cloudy as to what the overall trend is. Second piece is, is without the help of the shading, it's very hard to see what is the month that we're comparing. In general, the problem with this visualization is that it is too busy and we want to try to simplify these visualizations to put less on our plate so that we can more easily get to the insights. The first alternative to that side-by-side -side bar chart is what I'm calling a Gantt comparison bar chart. And basically what we've done is we compressed the previous visualization into this Gantt style visualization. And why I keep saying Gantt is just because we're using Gantt lines to replace the second bar. What this does is it solves the problem of the clutter by reducing the information that's on the page for you to see visually and makes it a lot easier to see, okay, in September, my comparison month is X, my current month is Y, what does that look like on a difference basis? Is, am I increasing or decreasing year over year? So the next step is we'll look at how to actually build this visualization. All right, this dashboard is built on the sample store data set. So you can follow along by opening that up, or you can go to the description in the YouTube video and you can find this actual dashboard that you can download and take a look at what I have. To get started, what we need to do is put order date out on the columns. And then we're going to select the monthly value without the year. Then we're going to choose our two values for current and previous year. These metrics will get put on rows. So that'll create two time series right now, one for the current year, one for the previous year. Now what we're going to do is for the current year value, we're going to set it to bar. So it sets it to bar. And for the previous year value, we're going to set that to GAN. So like that. Right there. Now we have the basic makeup of our visualization. So the next step is to create a dual axis chart. Just right click that axis, hit dual axis, right click the right axis again, hit synchronize so that we're on the same scale. So now we have the basic visualization that we had before. But best practice, as shown in some other videos, is we want to narrow our bars up. So just go ahead and make those a little bit narrower. And then the same with the Gantt. It looks like it might be a bit big, so maybe we slim that down. Additionally, you might want to adjust the colors to fit whatever your color palette is. This is just the base color palette, the default colors. So then the final step is we're going to put our current value on the label just so that we can see that. And without formatting, we're pretty much there. There's just a little more formatting that I did here just to change some of the colors and the thicknesses and sizes and whatnot. But overall, that's how you build what I'm calling the GAM bar chart. The second option for our comparison bar chart is a bullet chart. So this is very similar idea to kind of the comparison bar chart or even the Gantt bar chart. But the difference is, is we're just overlaying the bars on top of each other so that it makes it visually easier to see what's going on. And it still makes the comparisons for the months easy to do. So let's build this one. Just like our previous chart, we're gonna start with order date on columns and we're gonna to go to the monthly one. We're gonna to go to the month. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our two yearly values our metrics out on the rows. That'll give us our two time series. And then we can go ahead and switch them both to bar. Right click this bottom one uh, axis and hit dual axis. 
Then we're going to right click the axis one more time and we're going to synchronize them. So now we have what looks like a stacked bar chart. The key here is going to be removing measure names from the color. Do that. And what that's going to do is, is instead of being stacked on top of each other, it's just going to move the bars behind each other. So what we can do is, is set our current year chart to blue and set our previous year chart to orange. Now, the other piece is, is in order to create this kind of overlay effect, you'll want to make the current year thinner and you'll want to make it in front of the previous year. As we can see here, our order of our metrics is different. So we'll just flip those. We'll make the current year, which is now on this marks card, we'll make that thinner. And we have basically the same setup as what we saw in, in, in our visualization. So the final piece is just putting the current year metric onto label, and then I'll add it to the top of the bar. Obviously, you'll want to do formatting to adjust the colors and, and fonts and all that, and also hide one of the axes because you probably don't need both of them. But that's how you create two alternatives to the side-by-side -side bar that we showed first and help solve some of the visual overwhelming nature of that side-by-side -side bar chart.